Yo I am vivo. Okay? <clears throat> Why I'm talking today again at the end of the meeting? Because the people who wrote this, you know, the Hematian principles, the Hematian standard, and CHO, common Hematian standard, are people like you, are people not less than any one of you who manage to go through the process of learning getting the right education, getting the right experience, getting the guts to sit down and write. Sit down and write. Sit down and write. If you keep jumping and bumping and flying here and there without being able to write, we are a waste of time. People will write for you what they want you to talk about their ideas and their philosophy and their values, and their culture. All these nice principles which have been put here, if you can actually uh, put them, Brother uh, Yusuf, or uh, neutrality, humanity, okay, partiality, and uh, uh, material principle, forward, forward, carry on, carry on. Okay? You know your computer, it does. Build, build backward, forward, you see? You know, you know all this? Impartiality, independence, and uh, CHS, okay? The commitment, all this, even the 17 and the 8, the 8 uh, new millennium goals, which most of them failed, could not be able to achieve them, and the 17 sustainable development goals written by people like you, who are following, who are following, enough, please, I'm tired, and I'm sick of being a follower, regardless of my color, regardless of my language, regardless of my religion, my faith, regardless of my value, and my culture, and my history, I'm tired, tired. When are we going to be leaders? When are you going to make it? You want to be chicken? You'll be eaten by the rats and the gerbils. You have to make the difference. The difference is the knowledge, the difference is education, the difference is continuous learning, the difference is confidence in yourself. You build the confidence in yourself. Confidence in, in, in your value, confidence in your culture. You have to do something. I'm not saying what you have done is wrong. Absolutely not. It's exactly right. But you have to have your philosophy of thinking to produce something. Even to review this. Even to discuss the principles of this. We talk about new things called gender and definition. We call uh, safeguarding. We call whatever you call it. What is your what is your what is your values in discussing these things and making research based paper <coughs> to put your values in these policies? Where we talk about psychosocial support scheme. What is your idea about your Islamic? concept of the psychosocial support scheme. What is it? We don't have it. All this new development in the mechanics of the mechanisms of the new problems that we are facing, we don't have a say into it. For how long we are going, we're not going to have a say in what being put on the table for us. You know what? Please, follow this to get the fun. As, as Brother Yusuf was saying it before. Sometimes you said no, you have the gut. Most of the time people say yes. When are, when are we going to produce a document that others are following? 
I'm not I'm promoting Islam now. I'm promoting the individual capability of the local community. We talk about humanitarian colonialism for the imperialism. Okay, fine. How can you get your freedom? Isn't it? How can you get your independence from this? Don't keep throwing stones and the people are creating something and we create nothing. It's not good enough to talk nice. You have to produce document, convince partners, teach your community and the other community that this is the right thing. Don't ever be shy of your values or your principles or your culture or your color, or your history. Okay? Be proactive, be proud, be effective, and be helpful to others. Then you can live with identity. Coming back, the challenge on, on you now, come on, Sister Aisha, and Sister uh, Fatma. Next to me, I'll be, I'll, I need to be elevated again. <laughs> Both of you, you stand here, and she stands there. I'm between Morocco, the far west, or uh, Spain, the far west, and the island, the center. They promised to make you write a book, and you said yes. <coughs> yes? You said you said it already and had been written by the angels. <laughs> Whether they go <got> there. <laughs> it's gone with the wind, including myself. The angst amongst you. And they are going to produce it, the first copy, by the 15th of February. As you put your feet down, heavy. And you put your hand like this. Okay? You listen to them. Because if you only listen to Salah, because he's a boss, or to Yusuf, because he's another boss or leader, and me, and don't listen to the young leaders, we become a waste of time. No, she doesn't mean it. Who is she? She's Fatima. Who is she? She's Aisha. No, she's not Fatima, she's Aisha. If you want to, if you, if you respect them, you make them a leader by following what they ask you to do today. Not to delay it because it does not come from your boss or your manager or your leaders. Is that right, Brother Yusuf? But if you don't respect, support the growing leaders, you will never become a leader. And this is not only to you in this room, but to everyone who is listening to me today. I, am, I became tired. Tired and tired and tired, and I want you to keep going on with the journey according to your philosophy and make a new philosophy, according to your culture and make a new culture, according to your values and make a new values, and let others to follow you. Agree? Yes. Agree? Yes. yes. Agree? Yes. Raise your hand, please. Now, physically, now physically and verbally the angels are recording everything. Can't run away from them. And the jinn, yeah? <laughs> not you, not you. Inshallah. khair. Very successful day. We thank Gloria. We thank Brother Jammu. We thank Brother Yusuf. We thank Brother Abd Rashid at the back. The real heroes. Of course, Salah and Muhammad. Go, of, of bringing us together here it's it's took, of, of thank them for coming yeah, but actually you are the organizers thank you, sometimes I understand English <laughs> thank all of you all of you and tomorrow we start at 6 o'clock six. Six. <laughs> before breakfast no, inshallah come on, sir. 9 o'clock, come here she had a heart attack. Are you okay? Are you okay? Thank you. Thank you.